this S1 sweater, very comfortable by the way, is a 3XL. I don't know if you guys can see me. It's a 3XL. All my clothes are 3XL. All my sweaters you guys have seen in the past in the videos are 3XL. I don't know if you guys can see the label, 3XL, and the bag is also 3XL. But it is ginormous on me. I feel like I could put I could put two of me in here. I don't know. But it's keeping me warm. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are probably thinking La Panda is probably sold already, but the video you guys last saw was reassembling of La Panda, and that was literally yesterday. So the car is still here. Um, it's moved off the driveway and parked there until we sell the car. I do have a potential buyer coming here later today uh, to check out the car. So I hope it goes so that way I can uh, just get it off the lot. And you know, when I'm doing stuff here on the driveway like paint, in today's video, I don't get paint and dust debris and stuff kicked on that fresh paint. So hopefully the car gets sold. And uh, today we have the all-wheel drive CRX, soon to be all-wheel drive CRX on the driveway because I want to work on this a little bit before I bring the KRX on board. Now I said that I was going to bring that car here yesterday, but I thought about it. This car is already running. I'd rather finish this car first, get this car out if you guys don't know. I'm getting rid of this car when it's all said and done. It's gonna be GSR, boost it, all wheel drive. I'm gonna clean up the paint, clean up the inside, the outside, the whole thing, and it, it's it's set to go. So I wanna get going on this car today, and in today's video, guys, I wanna pull the bumper off, prep it for paint so I can match it to the car, and I also wanna paint this fender only because this fender was painted when I first got this car in 2015. I thought the car was Rio Red originally, but it's not. It's Rutland Red, and I didn't know that, so when I painted this fender, it's Rio Red. You can see it is brighter than the rest of the car. So. I want to get this prepped and painted. I want to get the front bumper prepped and painted. And I already have the paint here when I bought La Ponda's paint. So it's just been sitting here for a little while. I do have some red primer I'm going to use. I think I have red primer because the red primer with that Valspar would help me get the tone that I need to match the rest of the car. But yeah, I'm not going to talk anymore, guys. Let's yank this bumper off and start prepping. This is my um, We Have Shit Up sweater. Love it, but got a little too close to my propane heater the other day. My ass was on fire and this thing was nice and spicy. Is there a spark plug in here?
damn it the camera wasn't recording this whole damn time anyways um trim black lower half of the bumper is all done two coats the top i'm gonna do three i got one more to go but almost ready to peel back and do some red primer in the meantime let's sand that fender down Quick little update we got the bumper and the fender both three coats of red primer and uh i'm just gonna let it dry throughout the night it is dropping into the mid 30s um as of late as far as the news have said and i can literally feel it in my legs so i'm gonna let it dry right now with the propane heater set up right there and uh once it's all dry i'm gonna close the garage go inside and we'll pick back up tomorrow hopefully we start with sanding off a little bit of the primer to smooth it out a little bit and then we're gonna lay down some base coat and clear coat i'm super stoked to see if the uh new paint is gonna match somewhat to the rest of the car so yeah i guess i'm just gonna wait until this dry up and we'll see you guys tomorrow We have the bumper sanded down and I had it sitting on top of my KRX to dry up in the sun. It's going to sit right here on this table when I spray the paint and uh, the fender as well. These are sanded down with 500 grit. We got everything masked up right here. Um, ran out of bag literally like this is the last piece of my um, masking. So 
fender is ready to go and uh yeah i'm about ready to mix up the paint but i just swapped out this head on my compressor hose because uh this one was leaking out of like right here it was it was just gushing out air uh for the last however many years i've had this thing hooked up but we got a brand new one so we're not going to be pissing air out or losing air as we spray my gun here is all cleaned out it's got a new filter on it and i have the paint right here this is valspar i only got one pint because i'm not painting anything more than just a bumper and a fender originally i was gonna paint the driver side fender as well but um it's it's pretty messed up right here and it's pushed in from however many times this door has pushed this fender in so i didn't want to repair it paint it and then it gets gets mushed in again so i uh have one pint of paint and i normally mix it one to one ratio with a uh, reducer this one right here and uh, i was hanging out with tony the other day and he was telling me that he reduces it one to one and a half never done that before um, but it definitely will give me more uh, mixing it one to one and a half. So maybe I'll try it this time. Valspar, I believe, doesn't uh, bleed through as much as other brands. Like it's a pretty solid solvent and um, I'm hoping to not have to do so many coats to make it uniform. But I'm, I'm going to shoot for maybe two and if there's left over in the gun, we'll do three. So um yeah i'm pretty much gonna set up right now to spray the paint we're gonna mix everything up get the garage closed and get the ground wet and get the spray one to one and a half and still a pretty solid color So I'm letting the car flash for about 10 minutes or so. It's pretty pretty warm today. The sun's out. And uh, I'm just sitting here on the trampoline playing games. Did you guys know that you can play 13 online? Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. But um, these bots, man, they're, they're hackers, bro. Yeah, so we'll get back to spraying in just a few moments. I'm trying to remind myself that the first coat should be light and not heavy.
So, before you guys make fun of my shorts, um, I switched my pants to my shorts because I didn't want to overspray on my pants. So, I figured I'd just use some old shorts to, to paint. Yeah, we just did one light coat and a medium second coat. I think, I think I'm going to go with a third coat because I did mix up a little bit more clear than I should have, but I'd rather have enough than to run out, right? So two coats are on and the paint is, is, it's, it's looking really good. It's looking really good. Now, mind you guys, I am uh, spraying in the open environment. Wind loves to pick up when I am doing this sort of work, painting. And a lot of this um, pollen or what, what is this? little little thing flying off the bush over there is it's flying onto my paint um it is what it is that's what i have to deal with cutting polishing is not a big issue if we have to but um another thing that we're dealing with is dirt on the lawn even though the floor here is completely dry we still got dirt flying from over there this way and uh, we get bugs so that right there is a bug standing on all four stuck as hell what an idiot you're an idiot you're probably gonna die i'm gonna let you sit right there so i'm gonna let this dry up and i'm just gonna bang out another clear on it and uh, we definitely have a lot of daylight left which is rare we got a lot of hours left in the day because we came out a little early today but the goal is, after spraying the last one, I am going to roll the car back to let this sit out in the sun, hopefully, before the sun goes down. And I'm going to roll, well, I can't roll. I'm going to move this out into the sun that way because the tree and the leaves and stuff is going to kick on that. don't want that. I'm going to move it out just to let it bake. And the goal is to... I don't know. I, I don't want to push my luck here, but I want to get the bumper back on the car. That's what I want to do. I'm standing right here and I'm looking at the car and damn dude, right off the bat, I can see that that fender is brighter than that fender. Now, mind you, the entire car is really dirty and dusty, but I can see that that is a lot brighter than that side. At the end of the day, that fender was already bright anyways, and now we have a matching front bumper instead of it being white. And uh, I already kind of took off all the masking and tape and everything from the fender. There was nothing really hard taped to the fender, so I took all that out to throw in the trash. But the bumper, I did start taking off majority of the masking. Now, um, I mean, it's dry now. I can literally touch it. But a little while ago, it was a little bit tacky and while i was taking off the tape i had the uh paper sitting here and the wind blew it that way and i'm pretty upset because i was being careless that paper caked up right here in the bumper and uh you can see the clear coat imperfections it is what it is um that right there quick 2000 wet sand we can polish it out not a big deal most importantly the top of the bumper boy it, it doesn't have orange peel like like the bottom half you see all the peel here but the top glossy loving it You guys have no idea how much I make that a priority for me to keep it locked and closed at all times. So, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys probably already know this, but the gate, um, once it's open, a lot of traffic, a lot of cars, a lot of bums, a lot of drug dealers, a lot of things go on when that gate's open. So, I always keep it closed to kind of keep all that stuff out of the neighborhood and, uh, the other day, um, it was early in the morning, about eight o'clock-ish. My nephew came running in my room, woke me up that two pit bulls were on our yard and uh, very aggressive. So I got my strap, I came out here and I found one of our cats mauled to death. If I even said that right. La Panda was parked right here. And when I came around this bend, one of our cats was dead 
right here brutally killed by the pit bulls and uh literally the next morning those two dogs came back here again now one of you guys a subscriber which actually live across from me over there has seen a dog before and the owner and uh now that he's mentioned it i've seen this dude around too so i made that little piece to kind of block passage from the dogs returning because if it came here again it got to do what i got to do um but also a lot of these uh dealers been crawling under this gate as of late because they're skinny and uh there has been a lot of traffic coming through with their friends their cars parking here parking there making deals there and i don't fly here so how to do that to keep it uh more contained but me and my nephew we uh dug a hole and buried the cat here and uh gave it a proper burial so the kitten that passed away is Meow Meow's, um, I guess you could call it daughter. He has two kittens, one boy, one girl. That was the girl that passed. The boy is still, he's still around the house over there. Meow Meow himself is safe. His baby mama is safe. Fluffy is also safe. And uh, Lucy stays in the backyard with me. She's safe. But um, as of late, I haven't seen the pit bulls come back. But hopefully with that on the gate, they don't return here at all. So we got the bumper on and uh, it looks good. <laughs> it looks, it's so different than seeing it with the white bumper on here and not the J front. I don't remember the last time I had a paint match USDM bumper for my red CRX. And uh, man, I can't wait to get some wheels on here. It's gonna complement that hood really nicely. It is looking good. Now, it's funny that this fender kind of matches this back half now this is completely dirty and i'm sure if i get it nice and clean the entire back half of the car i think it'll i think it'll flow really nicely i'm overall happy because we have the bumper paint match to the fender somewhat the same shade as the rest of the car now this is going to be obviously more shinier because this is base coat clear coat the entire car itself is single stage i kind of debated on sanding down all of the rough spot like i forgot to dab this up but i was thinking about sanding all of this rough spot throughout the entire car just dab some mixed paint on it and then clearing the entire single stage paint i really don't want to do it but it was just a thought and uh at the end of the day i'm super stoked that the car is one color again and uh the bumper is just sitting on there loosely right now because it's still drying. I mean, it is dry to the touch, but it's still drying. I don't want to, you know, bolt it up completely and then risk putting fingerprints or cutting up, um, you know, the clear coat. Like right here, I had the corner lamp on earlier. I threw the bumper on and it dabbed up onto the clear coat. But lucky for me, that's under the corner lamp. So you're really not going to see it. But I avoided making more of that mistake by just loosely bolting the bumper on here. And guys, it, it is looking freaking awesome. I really wanted to get this uh, paint job out of the way. And then the next thing we're gonna do for this car is injector and then street tune. Once this car is street tuned, I'll bring it back on the driveway so I could start the all wheel drive stuff with the CRV slash Freelander drivetrain. Uh, but in the meantime, um, this car may just sit right here for right now, but in the meantime, I wanna get back on my KRX. I've said it many videos now, but I didn't really 
thought out the um, process. I still need to get the engine prep before it goes into the car. So this is a 24 we got from the Junkyard TSX engine. I already cleaned it. I already swapped the intake manifold and all the stuff that's going to be attached to this engine before it goes there. But I need to do the oil pump. I want to do the timing chain. I want to do the tensioner. I want to do all that stuff because those stuff are complicated to access when it's in the car. So get an engine stand, put the engine up, maintenance the engine. Then we'll move the KRX up and we'll start the transplant. But this time, we're not going to be using the drive chain that's currently in the car. We're going to go get my other transmission in the storage and we're going to be installing our action clutch on it as well. I am going to reassemble this car back tomorrow. Hopefully it's dried enough that I can put the stuff back on. And I'll be sure to leave some pictures at the end of this video, but I am going to wrap it up right here in the garage tonight, guys. If you enjoyed the progress update on the all-wheel drive, soon to be all-wheel drive CRX with the paint job, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to stick around to see the street tune, hopefully soon. I've said it plenty of times now, but hopefully soon we street tune this car and see the KRX back up in action. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.